I think it was a month or two ago, a few videos ago, Rob and I made the claim that we thought that the ketogenic diet was actually helping us stay healthy and fending off illness and sickness a little bit better than before we started keto. And so, of course, what happened after we made that claim? We got really sick. And the past week, I have been feeling very, very ill, struggling with some kind of respiratory illness. I vomited this morning. Perhaps that's TMI, like 30 minutes before I had a meeting. But actually, I think I am starting to feel better. So I'm sorry that we've been a little light on video content as of recently, but we've been grappling with this kind of moving through our whole family. But I did also want to share more about how the tapering process is going, going down on my medications since I shared that I was experiencing withdrawal symptoms since going down to 40 milligrams of the antipsychotic lorazodone that I take. While I have been feeling not well physically and very ill, I think the withdrawal symptoms have actually abated quite substantially and I'm not really struggling with that anymore. So that is excellent progress to share with you all that we kind of worked through that. My keto coach, Nicole, made some recommendations to kind of help me through that withdrawal process and it included amino acid supplements or perhaps just eating a little bit more on the carnivore side. So probably trying to increase protein that you're taking in as well as increasing micronutrients. So I doubled up on the multivitamin that I was taking. And I think those things did help a bit. And so perhaps that's something to explore if you are also in the process of tapering under the guidance of your psychiatrist. But it is the day before my son's third birthday. Um, and so we're just getting the house ready. Rob is outside cleaning the windows. <laughs> oh, inside too. Well, there's two sides to glass. So. <laughs> It's going to be a bang and third birthday. <laughs> and so yeah, trying to rally myself, even though I'm not feeling great and get ready for that tomorrow. I'm sick. <laughs> What's it like when you're sick? I'm a big baby. That's what Rob wanted me to say. <laughs> I'm a big whiny baby. <laughs> Her words, not mine. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teddy. Happy birthday. <laughs> One more. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Three? Yeah. 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 Let me go see. Oh. Oh. It's alive. It's alive. Oh. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Do you want to go check it out? I think we made a dent. Okay. We made a dent. Let's put his belly again. Okay. It's hard, okay? Oh, a couple oh, fell out. Oh, Hi, Rob. <laughs> I feel like you feel a little self-conscious talking with the camera with Do you, you there. No, it's fine. You Are can you stay. Sure? Yeah, it's, he can stay. Um, I think this is a bad vlog. I'm sorry. I didn't take you along with me this weekend, but we celebrated my 
son's third birthday on Friday, which I probably showed you a little bit of. And then Saturday, um, so I've been sick still all weekend. Um, but Saturday I decided to try to play a soccer game. So Rob and I had our first soccer game of the season and that went okay, but I probably shouldn't have done that if I was properly taking care of my body sickness wise. It's Monday now. And I just had a therapy session. Actually, Rob and I just had a therapy session and that's probably something we should talk more about on here is how helpful that is in terms of maintaining wellness and how big a role that has played for years for me in terms of maintaining wellness. I think basically what I want to share though, is that the last few months, coincidentally coinciding with this keto project have been pretty stressful on a personal level for both Rob and I. There's things going with going on with changing dynamics with co-parents. And obviously I won't get into too much to that, but it has been really stressful managing that. Things like checking in regularly with a therapist and getting insight about how to properly manage those stressors and how to deal with it in the healthiest way possible for me, for Rob, for our kids, for our family has been really, really helpful. But that's kind of something also that I've been reflecting on is that I've been experiencing a really, really high degree of stress. And usually that amount of stress would make me experience a huge amount of symptoms and would possibly even render me in a psychotic state and needing to be hospitalized. You know, that amount of stress has typically had that effect in the past. But even under this amount of stress, I'm still managing really well. I'm not experiencing symptoms. And, you know, I really attribute that to the lifestyle changes that we've made over the past four months following the medical ketogenic diet, therapeutic intervention, and metabolic therapies like sleep and exercise have been really, really helpful. How is therapy for you? <clears throat> it was good. It's always humbling. Helpful. Definitely helps manage stress. Yeah. Yeah. And that's probably something that we need to focus on more too throughout this project is the importance of stress management as a metabolic therapy and in terms of improving metabolic health and focusing how on how to healthily manage and yeah, manage stressful situations, stress management. That's an important component of all this as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> watching. Whoa! <laughs> Who seen it? Who seen it? <laughs> 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 It's been just about four months now, and so Rob and I went back to our GP to get requisitions for new blood work as a follow-up to the blood work we got done at the beginning of this project. Did they do a quarantine panel for you? Yeah, they, they explained what they were going to do, the same to you. Like, they're going to send it off or whatever? Yeah, to like a different lab. Yeah. And they're like, if they cancel it, it wasn't us. <laughs> so... The quest continues for a carnitine panel, but hopefully this will be successful this time. So hopefully we'll be able to let you know soon what the results of that updated blood work is, are. So it's been like, what, like four months now since we started keto? Almost, yeah. So it'll be a good kind of, it'll give us a good idea of like, I think especially what's going on with like our cholesterol and whatnot. Yeah. And we asked for ApoB testing this time too, which maybe would be hopefully a better indicator of what's going on with our hearts, heart health. I realize I should probably be sharing more of what I eat on medical keto as that's a big part of it. So today I just threw together some leftovers. Um, we had pork chops last night, so I just cut some of that up and warmed it up. 
with asparagus from last night as well that was cooked in um, olive oil. And then I chopped up some avocado to put on top and then just kind of doused it all with coconut milk. I know Rob chalked it up to me being a big baby about this illness, but I really have been incapacitated for the last like two weeks. And so I'm sorry that content has been a little late, but today managed to get ready and we actually recorded a few shorts and hopefully tomorrow we will be able to record some long form content as well. So that's feeling good. We're taking Teddy, our son, to gymnastics after daycare and after work today. So um, there won't be really time to cook dinner. So right now I am just preparing a cauliflower chicken bake meal, which we will eat after. And yeah, I'll share with you what the end result looks like. But it's kind of a go-to of ours where we use rotisserie chicken and either cauliflower or broccoli, cheese and macadamia nuts. And you just kind of make a really nice bake with it. And it's a really good go-to recipe of ours. I should also mention on the topic of being incapacitated sick-wise that I talked about going through quite a large amount of personal stress right now and how I haven't experienced symptoms as a result of that. Well, I, my body has been under intense physical stress navigating the sickness over the last couple of weeks. And again, I haven't really experienced any symptoms. I've experienced a degree of brain fog, which um, Nicole gave me a word. Maybe I'll put it up on screen. I forget what exactly it was that described what is happening in your brain when you're sick. Um, that creates that kind of level of brain fog. And that's really the extent of what I've experienced. And so again, I'm kind of left just in awe at how switching to the medical keto diet has really allowed my brain to be way more resilient in the face of stress, both psychological and physical. We have a couple keto recipe books that we like to pull recipes from. You can see they're well, well bookmarked. Um, but something to note of these like keto recipe books is that quite oftentimes they're not intended for medical keto. And so oftentimes we find that the macros in these recipes are either way too high protein, too low of fat, or too high of net carbs. And so it is important to be mindful of that when you're pulling recipes like this um, and just kind of adjusting ingredients as needed to hit more appropriate medical keto macros. Something that we do to almost all of our meals to just kind of increase the fat intake is just add avocado to it. It's kind of a really nice way to just quickly increase fat. And a lot of these recipes will do that for it to increase the fat and also to kind of offset the protein and carb ratio as well. And voila, here is the finished cauliflower chicken bake. Put your feet up like this. Sure. Oh. Okay. Put your strong arms, strong arms. Hold yourself up. Hold yourself up with your arms. Yeah. Good job. Fun. Did you, you had fun with mom? Yeah. Oh, fun. You, did you do a somersault basically on your own? Yes. I'm doing a good handstand. You did one pretty good handstand. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. You can do it. You did a really good job. Yeah. Yeah. And you're so fast on the trampoline. I was watching. Yeah. And can you tell Dad how you did a somersault basically on your own? You present? You do it like this? You show that? Do like this. You like this? A tall tree. Touch your toes. And you tuck. Well, not here, not here, not here, not here. <laughs> On the mats. Yeah, that's what you do. You did a good job. <coughs> you excited for next week? Yeah. Next week. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> okay, we're going to wrap up this vlog with this treat. You know how we were going on and on about how we were spending a lot of money on peanut butter cups from this keto store? Well... Rob has mastered <laughs> a recipe to make our own almond butter cups, and they're so good. So I'll show you a little bit of that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Are you going to share your recipe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's taken a while. A lot of research and 
practice and dedication has gone into this. And they're really good. Well done. Well, anyway, I guess that's it for this vlog. <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe to see more. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a very timid ask. I don't like asking that, but if you like following along on this journey of keto and metabolic health, yeah, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>